What up, HyperChange? Today we've got an update on Starlink. We're gonna be talking about this satellite internet service that is set to be one of the biggest IPOs in the world in about a year or two, spitting out of SpaceX, bringing connectivity around the world to billions of people who don't have it. This is hyper-changing um, connectivity, the backbone of the metaverse, internet, creating potentially a huge multi-hundred billion dollar company in the process that will fund us going to Mars. This is super exciting stuff. Um, just launched about a year and a half ago, SpaceX's Starlink has gone from what I thought was just this PowerPoint service of, oh my God, we're gonna launch all these satellites into the sky to now changing the game. We've got some big updates for y'all. The biggest being this V3 satellite that has come into play. So this is something that I talked about a lot on the channel. They were going to update to this rectangular dish. You made an NFT about it that sold. That's a whole nother thing. Hell yeah. Shout out to who got that. But now SpaceX has actually come out with that satellite. We've seen what it looks like. It is a rectangular dish. Um, a new V3 version. I don't know if they can still call it Dishy McFlat Face. Might have to be Rectangle McRectangle Face. So, um, but there you go. And the biggest changes here is not only is the technology better for connectivity, but it's about the economic uh, uh, equation here. Uh, easier to ship. You know, that's one of the biggest expenses. You pay $500 up front for Starlink, which gets you this terminal package and then $99 recurring. It sounded like SpaceX still may have been losing money on that initial 500 because of the shipping costs and the economics of building that first Starlink dish. So lots of pressure on the economic system to get this to work, to make that dish cheaper to install and a little bit better performance. That's what they've done with V3. Um, instead of a 16 pound circular dish, that's about 59 centimeters in diameter. Now they have a nine pound rectangular dish that's 50 by 30 centimeters so it's going to be lighter and it's going to be smaller to ship from a box perspective so you have significantly improved logistics economics there as well as some slightly improved uh uh, Wi-Fi router, 2 by 2 MU MIMO on the old one versus now a 3 by 3 MU MIMO. I don't know what that means, but it looks like the specs are a little bit better as well. Also, just in terms of an update of Starlink, um, people have been seeing download speeds of about 130 megabits per second. Um, Elon Musk had promised in a tweet in February 2021 that we will see double speeds to 300 megabits per second and latency drop to 20 milliseconds later this year. So I think it's also fascinating to note that as they launch more satellites, as these satellites improve, as the dish improves, the performance that you're actually getting from Starlink uh, should continue to increase as well. So the other big update that we got besides this V3, which now it's rolled out, and apparently there's been chip shortages that have been delaying um, some of that stuff, just like everybody's uh, dealing with. But now that they've rolled that out, they're turbocharging user growth. And we got an update on that um, just from August when they had 100,000 users, huge milestone. Now, um, just a couple months later, four months later, three months later, they have 140,000 users, 40% growth in just three months um, across 20 countries, up from 100,000 in 14 countries. Just to put a little math on that, 140,000 users times 99 bucks a month per user um, times 12 months puts us at about $166 million revenue run rate for Starlink. So in just a year and a half, this business, you know, already doing 106 million in annual recurring revenue growing like crazy. And so just to give you a little flavor of other avenues of growth and news tidbits for Starlink, we've got Starlink uh, partnering with India, setting up a 100% owned subsidiary in India that is um, essentially to provide Starlink in the country. The rumors are that could have a goal of 200,000 more accounts just in India by the end of next year. Um, so really cool to see that working. And they're trying to connect it in hard to reach places. So this is just an example of Starlink's mission, going out, bringing more people online, allowing them to contribute. And what I think is the greatest wealth creation moment for humanity, which is getting on the internet, getting access to education, to all these business opportunities just via a satellite dish. That's amazing. So it's awesome to see SpaceX rolling that out. And the final piece of news that I thought was so baller for SpaceX is they're installing these at superchargers. This is something Tesla the fanboys have been waiting for forever, like SpaceX, Tesla coming together. So now we've uh, a bunch of people have been spotting the saddle, Starlink satellite dishes at the, a few supercharger locations around the US. Very early to tell what this means or what, what sort of you know implications this will have in the long term, but super duper exciting to see that partnership start to manifest in real life. That's your update on Starlink. Uh, subscribe if you want more news. I'll be following it here closely on the channel, but satellite internet coming to the world. What could be more exciting than that? And it's getting us to Mars. Love it. See y'all next time. Peace.